All right, uh, working on installation of my kick panels. Um, so for starters, um, uh, this is a pretty prone place to for leaking. Uh, comes in through the cowl and then, then gets blown in uh, from the outside and through the kick panel through those vents. Uh, so uh, I'm using a uh, plumber's plumber's putty. Um, so you want something that's nice and soft. This stuff is really soft, uh, and then it doesn't. Um, doesn't dry, doesn't crack, so it's never hardens, flakes, crumbles, cracks, or shrinks. So, which is kind of what you want. Um, so, for starters, I just put a little bit um, uh, around um, here and here, and on the inside, I did a quick prep of the nooks and crannies in here. Um, so, I did uh, the holes, put putty in the back side of the holes, so the hole turns white. Um, so that when you put the screw in, you know where it is, and also so it seals the back side of the screw. And then I shove some in the corners in here, so that when you put a layer on here, it blends well. Um, so that's just what I did for prep, and I'll do the same to the other side. Um, and then I'll show you, and then you put the putty all the way around the edges, um, not too much around the screw holes, and thick enough so that when you go and push it and smash it, it will collide and coalesce and seal that sucker up. Alright, there we go. So about a half inch, three eighths inch little roll and stick it on there. You can kind of see how thick it is this way. So that should do it and then uh, let's get this panel on. All right, so uh, here is the tricky part. Um, so we won't put this in without knocking down any of this. So um, we put the putty on here, make sure it's nice and clean, no dust. Otherwise, this stuff isn't super sticky, so we put it on there. It doesn't stay on there super well, uh, but well enough to stay on. Um, so when you put the kick panel in, the, the side on the door side, okay, kind of, uh, this top corner kind of goes in first. Um, at an angle, kind of like that, and then tuck it in, push, and then kind of push in and kind of turn up at the same time to uh, slide the sucker in. So hopefully that I can do it right the first time. Snapped in, so it can be just a little loose. So I'm gonna quick take a quick peek in there in the back, and make sure it's all still on there. That looks good. All right, now we're gonna find our screw holes. Get the screws in there. All right, so um, the screws aren't aren't in all the way. They're just uh, just screwed in just enough to to be in. Um, and then don't forget when you go to install this, don't forget you tuck in your corner in over here and up, up your side. Um, and then that's it. I'm not going to smash this down yet because don't forget we still have the carpet to put in still. Um, and then you have a little bit of cleanup, you know, up top here. So when you go to smash it down, um, probably as you screw it in, um, probably a little soft mallet would help you kind of uh, smash it down as you screw it in. But uh, I'm not going to do it right now uh, because, you know, like I said, uh, we've got the carpet still. We have to tuck in here still. Um, but I wanted to get this in so that I can get my heater core box in because it was a pain in the butt. So uh, I'm going to do the other side, and, um, and that's it.